First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Welcome back. We give you a look at our first warning radar. We are starting to see a few thunderstorms popping up east of Tucson. We were telling you about these spreading into Greenlee, Graham and Cochise counties earlier. And there is one storm cell that is just to the northwest of Wilcox to the southwest of Safford that has prompted a flood advisory. We have taken a closer look at this system here on our kgun9.com radar. Just to give you kind of a point of reference since I have zoomed in so closely, we have the Winchester Mountains here, the Pinaleno Mountains here, Turkey Flat, Bowie and then Wilcox there to the south. So here's some of the farmland there just to the northwest of Wilcox. Looking as though it's picking up a little bit of rain, but some heavier rain just to the north of there has prompted a, a flood advisory. It's for south central Graham County, and it does include Fort Bowie, uh, a couple of other Bonita, a few other spots there. This current advisory does take us through 7 o'clock. We have had reports of an inch and a half of rain uh, just about an hour's time. So again, that's west of Bonita and Fort Grant, uh, where we're seeing some of the runoff in um, some creeks and wash, washes and watersheds around that area. Now, speaking of rain, Bisbee Douglas Airport has recorded its wettest monsoon ever. 16 and 25 hundredths of an inch of rain. The old record, a tenth of an inch under 16 inches back in 1964. So it has been a super soggy monsoon for some parts of southern Arizona. Tucson, we haven't even made it to four inches worth of rain. Our average is about six inches worth. Some of my weather spotters in McNeil, Guy and I were talking about this the other night, have re reported over 20 inches worth of rain. So that is pretty impressive there. Our sky cam, we have a close up shot there of some of the clouds. They look promising for rain, right? But not going to see much in the way of rain for Tucson. We're now at 92 degrees at Tucson's airport. 84 Oracle, 84 in Safford, 81 in Wilcox and 85 No Gallus. No Gallus though, you topped out at 90 today, just shy of that in Oracle with 88 and Tucson's high stands at 96. So we do have a little bit of moisture, as I had mentioned, kind of moving in east of Tucson, but we're still looking at mostly dry air kind of taking over Arizona. So that has taken our chance for rain down to a mere 10% for Tucson tonight with those partly cloudy skies. And then tomorrow, uh, we're looking at 95 with, again, about a 10 to 20% chance for rain. So if we don't pick rain up, guys, over the next two days, then we are finished with the rain for this rainy season. Our triple digit heat moving back in as early as Sunday, perhaps, but definitely next work week. All right, All right. and that's when a lot of people will head outside in October, especially. Yeah, lots yeah. going on. Thanks. A good time. Well,